budget burnout is a real thing. And I've always been someone that advocates that you should always take time to spend a little bit of money to take care of yourself. Don't get me wrong, I can't remember the last time I did that. Don't at me. But in this month's budget, I was very fortunate and very, very lucky to be able to give myself a little bit of self-care money. I probably have always had opportunity to have a bit of self-care. I've just probably not really allowed myself to do it just because of the financial position I've been in or what my savings goals are. And that started to lead down the road of burnout. And it got to the point where even though I gave myself 60 pounds this month to sort of treat myself to like a haircut or something like that, I hadn't actually spent it until today. And I don't know why I was holding off. I just felt like I couldn't spend that money. I just seemed frivolous. But I had to talk to myself and I had to say, I can't keep living like this. I need to take some time to take care of myself. So besties, what do you think? Here's the haircut. What do you reckon, bestie? Hi guys, gals and online house. Welcome to Budget with Ira. My name is Ira and on this channel, we talk about budgeting, paying down debt and saving up for the life that you truly deserve. If that's not something you'd like to watch, please consider subscribing to the channel because we do have a lot of fun over here, bestie. We rally, rally, da. In today's video, we're going to be checking in for week two of July's budget. We're going to be breaking down all of my spends on my bills, my spending money, petrol, groceries, everything that came out of my account and everything that I paid for cash this week. At the end of today's video, we're going to be doing some saving challenges and a little bit of cash stuffing too. So as I said, yes, I have spent a little bit of self-care money. Shall we go and have a look and see what happened to my money this week? Hi bestie, here we are. We are here to lay down my expense trackers. We're in my stunning booklet and we're open to the month at a glance for July. We're ready to lay my expense tracker stickers and have a look at what I spent last week. So let's get cracking. Sunday was a rare no spend day. Very rare that, that happens for me, but I didn't leave the house. It was great. Monday I ran errands. So I popped into Tesco, uh, did groceries, spent 59.25. While I was there, I got some kitchen uh, towel, kitchen roll for 350 um, household. I spent a tenner at the co-op from my personal spending. And my phone bill came out. It was exactly as expected, 1751. No spend day on the Tuesday. My money box ISA payment uh, came out and that was a tenner. No spend day on the Thursday. I like not spending on Thursdays. I got petrol on the Friday when I was uh, going somewhere. And I thought, why don't I just put 40 quid rather than do 20 pound a week? Why don't I just do 40 quid now and see like, that doesn't have to go as often. On the Saturday, I bought vape liquids online. That was 27.50. I spent exactly £10 from my personal spending money at the co-op again. I went and got my hair cut with my self-care money and that was £30. And I went out, um, had a meal, had some drinks and went to the cinema for my birthday and I used my birthday money. I remember I saved £100 for that so I still got like 40 quid left over for that. So cool. That's all done now. So what I want to do is go ahead and move over to the check-in page and we're going to check in for week two. Okay, I'm going to start by filling in everything that I know. Okay, so for spending last week, we stuffed £23 because we got the last card in the wild card. It was a seven. We end up only spending dead on 20. So I'm left with a £5.9 to roll over into next week. For groceries, we stuffed £63 and I spent £59.25. That means I've got £5.03 for next week. Petrol is all on my credit card, so we don't stuff anything anymore, but I did spend £40 and I've got £20 left for the rest of the month, which will be absolutely fine. And then for household, we don't stuff again. We stuff that at the start of the month, but I only spent £3.50, which has left me with £29.92. Self-care is another one that we stuff at the start of the month and I spent £30, so I am left with £30. 
and there was absolutely no unbudgeted spends last week, which is good news. So looking at a glance, we stuffed £86 along with the 156 that we already had. I spent 152 75 Five, and I'm now left with £90.04 for the rest of, well, what I'm going to roll over. I'm now going to go ahead and flip over to the budget because I just need to check off a couple of bills in there. Okay, so we're with the Paycheck Bill Tracker and all I'm really looking at is the bills that I paid off. So I think there was the phone, which was 1751 and then I did vape as well. I'm not going to buy anything else for vape. So that was 2750 So let's put that in. So we are looking good. So we've just got Apple to come out, car insurance, Sky and cat food. And we are looking good, bestie. So let's go ahead and let's cash stuff for next week. OK, here we are with my three binders. I've got my everyday sinking funds here. We've got my saving challenges and we've got my everyday spending. So let's start with groceries. I give myself £70 per week in groceries. So let's get that out. And then we should be left with £70 for the fourth and final week of the month, which we do. But before I stuff that, we move over to my wild card challenge that's available on my Etsy store. When you buy this challenge, you get this stunning suit of cards. It has all the cards in the suit and when you fan it out, it fans out to this stunning rainbow. There are rules on how to play the game and how I'm playing it is I'm drawing a card every single week. Whatever card I draw, I will save. I'm counting ace as one, all the way up to 10. Jack is 20, queen is 30 and king is 40. And I'm doing this four times because that's 52 stuffings. And we just finished the third time round last week. So we're now on the fourth and final. Uh, way round with my wild card and then we'll be moving over to a different challenge once this is done. This is all going towards a holiday for Jake and myself. Uh, somewhere before or after Christmas but yeah good stuff. So anyway we've got a full suit of cards here so it literally could be anything. Um, I feel like I've got a five already so I'd quite like it to be one of the big ones if I'm really really honest. So here's my shuffle going to split it and today I'm saving three okay cool right okay we can do that right three never going to save three again how close was I yeah I don't know <laughs> okay right put that in the back and before I close it let's put three in here because we already have three pounds available so let's do that saving three Good, and then we've got a full 70 quid for the week, which is, do you know what, not too shabby. So I think probably this is the week where we stock up on stuff, like um, pastas and things like that. But anyway, uh, we're not gonna do petrol because that's all done. Let's go over to spending and move everything around. Here we go. So spending, I give myself 40 pounds a week. Obviously, I'm never gonna get all of that because we do a saving challenge every single week. So there's 40 pounds and I'm left with 40 pounds for next week in the fourth and final week of the month. But obviously we're gonna do a saving challenge before we go ahead and stuff this. The saving challenge I'm doing today is my save 6K challenge. This is no longer available on my Etsy store because it was for a 6K milestone, but I'm gonna be sticking this with this one until I sort of can't do it anymore. What I'm doing every week is rolling six six-sided dice every single week. And you know what? I'm gonna save whatever it says. So kind of hoping for something low, but I'm just gonna clear the decks and let's roll it. Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot this week. So we got a six, three, fours, a three, and a two. Like seriously, why can't I just get like six ones? Why do I, have to? that seems like a lot. So six plus, wow. Okay, right, let's do it this way. I know that's 10 and that's eight and that's five. So 10 plus, plus eight plus five is 29. Okay. Let's put 30 in and take a pound out. That's rude. She's rude this week. I'm not happy with her. I've got 11 quid. <laughs> but I suppose, actually, to be fair, I've got money from last week. So, Joe, I'm not going to moan forever about it. <laughs> but I will moan. Trust and believe, bestie. OK, 
Okay, that's me all done. Thank you so much for being here with me this week. Hi guys, gals, non bypass. Thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video. You know I love it when you get through to the end of the video. Please give this video some love. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you are gonna comment, please use this emoji. Do you make sure that you plan in self-care within your budget? Do you really feel like you're in a financial position to be able to do so? I kind of feel like I'm kicking myself now and that I probably could have done this all along. I probably could have like, even if spared a tenner a month and then every three months get a nice haircut or something like that. I don't know, but like, I feel like I probably should have been doing this for longer because I do feel better and I know that I could have afforded this. What do you do in terms of self-care? Do you budget something per month or do you save up for something nice to treat yourself? I'd love to know in the comments down below. Thank you so much everybody who does comment to my questions. It really, really tickles my pickle to see what people are commenting and uh, I try to reply as often as I can. An extra special thank you to the patrons and the channel members who support me more than you will ever know. Obviously, they get sneak peeks, exciting stuff and if you if you would like to join them over on Patreon, please take a look at the link in the description. You will not regret it, bestie. That's all we have for this week. And until next week's check-in, I would like you to have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week, and have a wonderful budget. Always remember, don't trust Ira. And bestie, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.